welcome back to Hello High for another quick and easy cannabis recipe. And today I'm showing you how to make homemade infused almond milk. Now almond milk is low in calories and gluten-free, so it's perfect for vegans and people that are non-vegans that are lactose intolerant for an alternative in any recipe that requires milk. Now you can use different sweeteners to add to your milk, like agave or cocoa powder if you want chocolate milk or dates. But today I'm using honey, can of honey, and vanilla for this recipe. So let's get started. For this recipe, you'll need almonds, water, honey, vanilla extract, and a nut milk bag. Start by adding one and a half cups of almonds to a jar or bowl. Then add enough water to cover the almonds with about one or two inches of water on top. Let the almonds soak for about eight hours, and you can do this with or without covering the jar. Now, I usually let my almonds soak overnight, but eight hours is fine. After eight hours, your almonds should look like this in the jar. Make sure you use cold water and use a strainer to rinse the almonds for about two to three minutes and then put them back in the jar. I'm not a big fan of drinking tap water. I like to use bottled water for my almond milk. So next I added four cups of water to my Ninja blender and make sure you use a high powered blender that's at least six or 700 watts that works well with crushing nuts and ice. Then I added my almonds and blended the mixture on high for two to three minutes. Once this process is completed, you can actually see the almond milk separating from the pulp. Now draining the milk is easy. I use a nut milk bag and a plastic bowl to strain the milk. So pour the milk from the blender in the bag and squeeze the contents into the bowl. Now keep squeezing until all the liquid comes out. And here's a quick tip. If you're vegan or just want an alternative to bleach flour, you can dry the almond pulp in the oven and when it's dry, use a blender to make almond flour. And while you're at it, check out my infused almond flour video and use the same method to make can of almond flour. Now it's time to infuse the almond milk. Bring a medium pot of water to boil, then add the almond milk to a glass bowl on top. Add 14 grams of decarb cannabis and let the almond milk heat until it reaches 150 degrees. Then turn the stove on low and let it simmer for about an hour, stirring every 15 minutes. After an hour, turn off the heat and let the almond milk cool for 15 minutes before straining again. I'm repeating the same straining process again to remove the cannabis from the milk using the nut milk bag and transferring the milk back to the blender to add the flavoring. Now you can definitely skip this process if you choose not to flavor your milk. And if you haven't already, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more can of yummy videos. Add the almond milk back to the blender and add one tablespoon of can of honey, optional, and a half a teaspoon of vanilla and blend on medium for about two to three minutes until it's combined. When finished, Pour the almond milk in an airtight jar and you can store it in the refrigerator for four to five days. This recipe is also perfect for pouring over cereal, using in smoothies, or even adding to your morning coffee. Thank you guys for sticking around and watching this video. And if you haven't already downloaded the Cannabuzz app, please download that app. You can find me on there at Hello High. You can also find me on Twitter at Hello High underscore, on Facebook at Hello High Official, and also on Instagram at Hello High Official. And thank you guys for watching this video. It is appreciated, and I'll see you guys on the next video.